turn my light on for you. So it's basically going to look like this. So you just basically kind of grab the end of her stick and then take your other hand and just mush it together and pull it right off and then hand it right over to her. Okay? Dude, it's so nice out here right yeah. now. It's awesome. What's going on guys? I have a huge commercial project coming up. I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to, you know, get a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, show pre-production to actual filming and day of shooting to even uh, post-production stuff. The reason why I wanted to shoot this behind the scenes stuff is because me and one of my good buddies are starting a new media company called Backbone Media, where we focus on outdoor stuff, sporty stuff, blue collar, gritty type films like that because that's what we really enjoy filming. I'll be the DP, cinematographer, sometimes director, essentially everything when it comes to video on most of these projects. And Craig will be more so the photographer, also director. Um, we kind of wanted to offer a whole media package with each client that comes to us. And if they want to get photos and video as well when it comes to their projects, branding wise and whatever it is they need, we wanted to be able to offer that. We kind of have to wear a bunch of hats when it comes to this stuff because we're a small team. We're also going to contract people out for each of these projects depending on what we need. But it's going to be a good time. We're excited. I can't wait to show you videos like this behind the scenes because I think it's, I love watching them. Um, and it helps me out a lot and hopefully I can help somebody else out a lot. I'd like to give back to the YouTube community that's given so much to me um, and it's helped me grow my business. So that's exactly what I want to do for whoever else is watching this. This project is for Passport America. One of my buddies from college actually um, is higher up in this company. He contacted me. He said, hey, I need, I need a video done for this. I need some work done. We, I wrote up a, a script, sent it over to him. I was like, hey, what do you think about this? And he's like, yeah, let's go for it. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I have the script written. I'm going to be scouting locations today. And we're going to get a storyboard drawn out. We're gonna essentially do everything you need to do to have a successful commercial shoot. Um, I'm gonna show you all that, so let's get into it. Ah. Oh, sometimes it's my favorite place to be right here. So usually for projects like this, I'll get an email, <gasps> DM, an inquiry on my website asking, hey, uh, we have a project we think we wanna use you for. A lot of times it's just drone stuff, but a lot of times it's also for DPing stuff. They say DPing, but I'm also a lot of times the director as well. So I ended up having to do everything. If you're gonna be a cinematographer, you need to know how to do everything. You need to know how to light, you need to know how to uh, capture crisp, clean audio. You need to know everything. So uh, you know how to edit, fly a drone. Like it's just good to be able to do all those things when you're just starting out, if that's where you're at, you know, you need to be able to do everything. So they'll reach out to me and they'll give me a, a rough idea of what they want. And we'll usually hop on the call or something. They'll kind of give me some inspiration. This is kind of what we want to do. And I'll look over and I'll ask them more questions if I need to. And then I'll write out a script. A lot of times when I write out a script or even a treatment, you know, that's, that's on spec. You ain't getting paid to do that. Um, you have to have, to have faith and your potential client, you have to have faith in yourself. And even if you write out an entire script, if it's short, you know, usually one or two page, maybe three page script for a smaller project. If you do a good enough job, they'll be okay, I like that, let's move on with that. If they say yes, then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to write out a, a budget for this, an estimate. So I'll, which estimates, one of the hardest things in this industry to figure out. Um, you have to know your worth, but you don't wanna push them away. So for this particular project, I wanted to make sure I can get Craig, my buddy, in on this to help me. I had to rank, put that price in there for him for two days because it's going to be a two-day shoot. I needed a, also needed a AD, assistant director, or really just a production assistant. So I wanted to get a, uh, one of my other buddies in to help me with that. That's three people. And then obviously I have to get paid. So, and I'm doing the bulk of the work. I'm doing all this pre-production. So you have to put pre-production in there, the actual day of filming. I'm also editing this project, so I have to put the editing in there. So two days full filming, two days editing, plus pre-production. One of my friends is actually writing out a storyboard. I wanna pay him for that because he's a really, really talented artist and 
I think storyboarding this to a T helps out with the project so much as far as it makes the vision so much more clear. It actually makes the filming so much quicker because you know exactly what you need and what you want. It provides a production value to your, your client as well. They're like, oh, okay, these people mean business. They know what they're doing. So it helps everything. So this is the script I've written. And then I'm drawing out a little storyboard that's trash. But I'm gonna send this off to a buddy who can actually draw, get this drawn up, send it over to the client. For this project specifically, I, I knew the camera that I wanted and I knew the lens that I wanted to shoot on. I shoot on Blackmagic, the 4K right here, 6K back there, and I have a GH5 that I kind of mess around with. Um, but for this project, I wanted to shoot on the Ursa Mini 12K because of the PL mount and because I wanted to shoot on the Cook anamorphic 50 millimeter lens. Matteo Bertoli, he actually has a spec ad on YouTube and I saw him have this exact setup that I want. And I saw how beautiful the image was and I was like, that's exactly what I wanted. Ursa Mini 12K, yep. Ooh. Whenever I wanna rent stuff, I usually go to Lens Rentals, pretty easy. Um, deliver it straight to your door. So I just ordered the 12K or the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 12K. And then I ordered the Cook Anamorphic Lens, the 50 millimeter. Um, and that's really what I wanted and what I needed for this project. I don't really need too much else. Now I'm about to rent an Airstream, which is gonna be huge for the production. Obviously it has a retro style feel to it, but for this piece, I just think it's perfect. Um, it's gonna add that extra production value we're looking for, and it's gonna draw the viewer. And little things like that really make your production that much better. I'm going on, that's like an hour from me, so. On oh, Airstream? Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can pull something from here, but if you find anything, um, like any other airstreams or something that suffice, we might do that uh, over me pulling something up there. Awesome. I'm excited, man. Well, yeah, I'll uh, stay in touch these last few days before the shoot and we'll, we'll get it going. So as you probably heard, we have an issue with running an airstream. Can't find one. Um, I thought I had one, I thought I had access to one, but the guy never got back to me. And, called the company that they ran it through just nothing ever worked so it's, it's fine we can live without one hopefully maybe we'll throw up a prayer get one that'd be awesome but if not it's not the end of the world In all its glory, baby. Minor dirt. We need to clean up. As you can tell, she ain't in the best shape, but I think it's perfect for what we're going for here. Once I clean it up, it'll look pretty good. And, I mean, we're going for a vintage, authentic look. I mean, this guy hadn't camped in a while. It's just kind of part of the story. So I'm gonna clean this up and then get it ready to go for tomorrow and Tuesday. Once I get an estimate written out, I'll send it over, we'll get it approved. And once I get the estimate approved, that's when the project really, really starts. And that's when I use Studio Binder to organize everything. I'm not sponsored by anybody, but I use Studio Binder to organize everything because that's where I write my scripts. Um, that's where I do everything. So where we're at right now is I've already written the script. I'll put it on screen. That's approved. The estimate's approved. So now I need to scout locations. I need to get the storyboard written and I need to get 
talent locked down. Let's go scout some locations. Let's freaking kill this shoot. All right. All right, let's check this location out. All right, guys, this is the first location I wanted to scout out. This is about 30 minutes from my hometown of Auburn, Alabama. I'm at Lake Martin, one of my favorite places in the world. And that's a big reason why I chose it. First of all, I know it's beautiful. Second of all, there's a lot of agency I have here. My mom has a lake house right over there people can stay at. Um, I know this area like the back of my hand, so I know what's going to look good, what's not going to look good. I know where the sun's setting. I know where the sun's rising. So I just... I feel more comfortable filming here. We had an option to go North Alabama and film something up there, but I just wasn't as comfortable with that. There'd be fees there. We wouldn't have a place on the water. Like we, we need a campsite. We need to stage a campsite on the water. I think that's gonna make all the difference. Um, so that's a big reason why I chose this spot. Again, I'm still gonna scout out a few more locations, but this one is perfect. Um, Another thing you gotta think about is when you're filming, we're gonna be filming this during the middle of the week. Not gonna be anybody here. Not a bunch of boats out there in our shot. So that will be perfect. I I came all the way up here and guess what? I had my damn, I was turning my drone on, I was ready to go. Didn't bring an SD card. That happens to me a lot. A lot more than I'd like to admit. My, I wanted to show my client this area via aerial view but i can't so i can just show him a satellite image and then go around take my phone take pictures of the, the spot and show him and tell him ask him what he thinks but at the end of the day he trusts my judgment so it's all up to me but i like to show clients you know what they're getting i really like the spot film what you know that's what i would say shoot day Got everything packed up in here Got Nikki packed up with the cam. This big ass camera. <laughs> Gotta hold it all the way on, on over. First location. Here we are, Nikki. Looking over the storyboard. What you think, Nikki? I think it's gonna look good. Yeah. So we got all the lighting set up now. We're just kind of figuring out what shots we need to do first. Um, we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna have to do these obviously out of sequence, but because we gotta pull the desk out in order to do the front shots of the gentleman. So we're gonna probably do, gosh, we already, we're already set up for this one right here. And then we're going to basically do However, we're, we feel we're gonna probably have to do these yep. first, and then we'll pull out the desk, and then we'll do these then, and then the last will probably get the shot of her. Yeah, let's go take a look at the... Uh, All right, so Al, our talent was sitting right here. We have some negative fill up here, and then we have a key light. Not even a key light, really. It's just kind of backlight. And we're sitting right here looking at this picture, and we're shooting everything. This is on all its glory on this Ursa. So pretty simple setup. Just back shot. Bam. Nick, you want to go sit over there? Show him. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to be, for the very first shot, he's going to be sitting, doing his stuff on his laptop. The picture frame, I think we said it was going to be right here. Yeah. And uh, he's just going to be working on his laptop like this. And we're just trying to figure out the lighting. Yeah. See if it's going to look good, look cinematic, yep. you know. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. We just printed that out. Looks pretty good, Photoshop job. For a 70s photo? Yeah, yeah. I'd say it looks pretty good. That's gonna look good. Craig doing some product shots, kind of. <laughs> Day two of filming, first day yesterday went really well. Um, the weather wasn't super cooperative, but we got everything we needed to get. Now it's, the sun's finally coming out, and I think we're gonna have a great day today. It's all outside exterior stuff. So getting everything set up here,
going to start filming probably around 2 or 3 and then probably not stop until the sun sets. So excited about that. Um, and I'm going to try to show you all a lot more today than I did yesterday. Yesterday I was just it's a lot of interior stuff. So it was it was fun, but it's just going to be different. This is going to be a lot more interactive. I actually just ordered this butterfly scrim um, thing. <laughs> I don't even really know what you call it. So I'm going to set that up um, just for some diffusion. And it should be good. Very good. Got some more stuff right here. Firewood there for later. And now we just set up this scrim. I actually set up to 8x8. Eight eight. Um, but it's really cloudy right now, so I don't even know if we're going to need this. But I'm glad I got this. It's going to be pretty useful for the next shoot. Finally. Trying to stage it just right by this fire. Yeah, just a little bit off, so he's good, I think, where he's going. Final scene. Closing scene. S'more scene. Nikki with the s'mores. I promised I washed my hands, but I'm not going to touch So, them. I don't need to stick anymore. Oh, my. No, you don't. It's like... You get some good ones? <laughs> no more. <laughs> yeah. I wish the fire would blaze it. Wait, that was a yeah, we might just need to throw some uh, lighter fluid on the fire. The sticks? Yeah, Nick, what'd you do with the sticks? Oh, there's some right there. I think. Yeah, I'll put this right. This is not in the shots, so we should see it right here. Alright, Nick, let's look at his last shots. Just to show you real quickly, I'll um, turn my head on for you. So, it's basically going to look like this. So, you just basically kind of grab it. Thank you.